Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create content for your social media in an instance. And I mean instance, super fast. So the only things that you are going to need is the Canva subscription and ChatGPT subscription. These are the only tools that we are going to be using and a bit of creativity. So let's get started and let's get right into it. So um, as you can see here, I have my ChatGPT opened. I have prompted ChatGPT prior to recording this video in order to not waste time of yours while you are watching this tutorial to wait on ChatGPT to generate stuff. But it is going to be insanely fast one way or the other, trust me. So what you need to do is to prompt ChatGPT uh, for creating the content that you would like to use on your social media. Let's say that uh, I need 50 inspirational quotes about sales and 50 inspirational quotes about marketing. Let's say that I'm going to create a series of posts on Monday on my Instagram with inspirational quote on sales and marketing to kickstart some discussions. So I've asked him to provide me with these quotes, but in a format of a table. So as you can see, I have a category in the column A, I have a quote in column B, and I have author in column C. And what you need to do is to do exactly that. So you need to create a content in a way that you are going to have the table at the end of the prompt. And uh, as you can see, the quotes were generated here, cool, 50 quotes. Then I have asked the for the XLS file. And what ChatGPT has provided me is the XLS file with 50 quotes on marketing and 50 quotes on sales. I am clicking to download it. And as you can see here, I have two files that I have already opened. And what you are going to have is some sort of that kind of a format. So I have inspirational quotes on sales, inspirational quotes on marketing. What I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to copy the marketing quotes to my file with the sales quotes here in order to have everything in, the, in one place. Boom, done. So I'm closing this file because I'm not going to be needing this anymore. And I'm sticking with this one. I'm grabbing the columns so I can have more clearer view on what is going on here. Okay, cool. This doesn't really matter, but I, I just don't like the Excel to, <laughs> to cut my text like that. So I have all of the hundred quotes in here, as you can see. So this can be quotes. This can be anything that you desire to have, depending on the need of your content. And what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to go back and I'm going to start my Canva. I'm going to go for my Canva, click create design here on the left, and then I'm going to choose social media and Instagram post, right? And in order to simplify my life, I'm going to again use a template. So I'm going to put quote in here. And as you can see, there is a template with a quote. What I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to choose colors that will match my brand identity like that. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the background to white, maybe. Yeah, perfecto. And then I'm going to choose another color from my brand identity in here. And this will, th I, I'm not going to need the one on the bottom. So I'm going to only need the author of the quote, right? And what you need to remember about is that this should match the amount and the types of content that you are having. So we are creating a post that has a quote in the middle that has the author at the bottom. And what I'm going to need, as you can see here, I have like category, so inspirational quote on sales. And let's say that I want to add it in here as well. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add another field of text at the top and I'm going to make it look pretty good. So this doesn't have to be changed at the every time. You're going to understand in a second. So I have my template ready. Let's say that this is how I would like my post to look. Of course, you can tweak, you can adjust. It doesn't really matter. I am here to show you how to do it very fast. And what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to go for apps and I'm going to look for bulk and you have bulk create in here. So this is the feature that you are going to be using. And here you can either enter data manually or you can upload your data. And I'm going to, of course, go for the latter. In order to upload the data, I'm going to go for the sales. And as you can see here, my data was already uploaded. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click continue. And here, what you need to do is that you need to connect the particular field with the particular element of your design. So here I have category, so I'm going to connect the category to the top text at the top. Done. Here I will have a quote, but let's say that some of these quotes are pretty big. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to decrease the font a bit 
to make sure that each quote will give or take fit onto the design. And I'm going to connect data and choose quote. And then I'm going to go for author and I'm going to connect data and click author. And right now you are basically ready to create your 100 posts in an instance. I'm clicking continue. I'm being asked if this is okay. I'm generating the designs. And as you can see, all of the designs are right now created. So I have inspirational quote on sales everywhere. And I have, you know, like all of that stuff done. So everything is ready. In some cases, of course, you might need to adjust your text a bit because it will not fit or something like that. I encourage you to try and play around with this feature in order to discover the ways in which you can use them. So you can add more columns to your Excel. You can create a carousel post uh, within Canva with this feature. I've done this in the past and it works like a charm. The more creative you are, the more data fields you are going to create, the, the smarter you need to be with prompting your chat GPT. But in general, if you want to create content at scale and you have like Monday series with motivation, on Tuesdays you are posting about X and Y and Z, chat GPT can either create some of the content for you or it can also work with the data that is in existence. So you can upload multiple of your articles, ask chat GPT to create a list of quotes, your own quotes, and then repurpose them in a smart way to your visual posts, like posts on Instagram, like carousels and so on and so forth. So the possibilities here are endless. I encourage you to play around with the feature and try new stuff for you. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions about this particular feature or any others, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to answer. Have a great rest of the day and thanks for watching.